problem I was having with my True Fitness 500 treadmill was with this motor overheating. I could smell it last night. So today I took apart the brush holder and for simplicity there are actually two screws but I have them taken out already but you can take this cover off here to see the brush holder and it has this kind of clever spring mechanism that if you push down on it and wiggle it it will undo its latch which is at the very top there with the coiled up spring and you can see the brush underneath and if I pull the brush out what you see down inside the brush holder is the commutator Unfortunately, I don't have a before picture, but before I started this, the commutator had uh, grooving on it, and it was glossy for the surface texture. So I took some 150 grit sandpaper and put it up underneath like that to apply finger pressure on it and then turn the motor over by hand until that commutator was smooth again. Then uh, reassembled it, ran it at about four miles per hour for an hour. What I saw was rather dramatic because I took a, put a thermocouple up on the top of the motor and after about a half an hour that motor temperature climbed to about 120 degrees I didn't know what to expect, but as time went on, it started dropping from there. And I waited it out, it dropped to about 86 degrees in the end. So I thought I'd take it apart again and inspect the, the brush. And what I see is the brush is finding its new home after sanding the commutator. There's a, a glossy part where all the peaks and valleys are getting worn away and it's getting a new home and a new contact with the commutator. Again, I didn't expect this kind of dramatic difference in the temperature, but uh, I thought I'd share that because it was quite effective. And you reassemble this just by sliding that, oops, my hand's in the way, sliding that retainer back in and wiggle it until that clip latches and you're done. Hope that helps you.